Lada says, uh, so I'm in an organization where I have admin rights, but have no license, don't need one. Uh, there are two others that have licenses and I want to install Microsoft 365 on their computers, but they don't have admin rights. When I log in as me, I cannot download M365 because I don't have a license. When I log in as one of them, I get the message that they can, that they have no access to that page in admin center. So how do I do this? I think we know we chatted about this a little bit before. Yeah. I don't yeah. think they're going into the right location because no, exactly. a, a, a standard user doesn't go into the administration to be doing download. A standard user, if they've got 365, it's literally right there as part of their main login page to go download profile. Office directly from yeah. like directly from yeah. their main page. Yeah. Or they can go into their own account. So into their account and under their account, it's got, you know, 365 in there and they can go do, you know, download through their, through their account, not through the admin center. So I think that, yeah. One, you want to make sure that depending on the license type and the, the very, the many SKUs that are out there, if you have a license type that includes the desktop versions of those applications, then you go and log into, uh, so you look, just do a search online for, Office 365 login, and it'll give you that primary login, and that home page will have all of your apps on the left. It'll give you all of your files, what was last accessed, all of that information, and right from there you can download the those versions yeah. if you have the right license. So that's not something exactly. that you as the admin can do. The users need to go and do that. The users will never have access to the admin center. Yeah. Hence yeah. the, the easy way to Admin's find out yeah. is, you know, everyone's got an a account as part of your organization. So if you click on like the profile picture, um, it's at the top right hand corner and then you go view account. So everyone's got it. They go into the view account. So you're not going in through the admin portal. It says my it. Microsoft account right under. Yeah. The, so yeah, if you right go to, right you know, view, view the account, well, it's my um, it's my Microsoft account. Um, but, but inside the inside an organization, it's just view account. And under view account, you can actually go into your subscriptions and you've got your office apps and th that sort of thing. So you can actually go and look underneath your um, office apps and through there, you can then go do your download. And you can say, you can see how many devices you've actually got it across as well. So they can sort of see, you know, have they already downloaded? Do they want to install office? What do they want to install? What version you know in terms they might need whether it's a 32 or 64 bit so it's got the install office under their own account just not going through because if you log in as yourself on their device then you're them you're, yeah. you're you not them exactly <laughs> which doesn't which doesn't help you so then the license is then if you did put it onto your own they'd be it'd be logged into office as the wrong person right. you could if you had it a license to yourself, log yourself out and then get them to log into office um, because they're recognized as a as a as a user in your organization. So you could do that if you also as an admin had the license, but he doesn't. So I wonder yeah. if the other issue to this is that what they mean by is they don't have admin rights is they don't have admin rights to their machine. And if you don't have admin rights to install applications on your computer, then that is mm. your network administrator that you need to reach out to. Um, and there is a way for them to push an application to you through a different way. Um, so if they're like managing applications behind the scenes of what you can and cannot access, um, then sometimes that might be locked down by your administrator. Um, so it might be that this is the M365 administrator that is not able to do that because there's a policy preventing that user from installing applications on their own device. That's a whole different discussion. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, and I'll add the link in here too, to the uh, the add and deploy apps to devices, which is uh, the within the Intune Admin Center to, to go in and do that.